Uh, Cam McLean here, I'm here with property expert Michael Bozzer Beresford. Uh, a couple of weeks ago we did uh, Finance 101, which is about keeping your own home safe and out of the bank's hands. I want Michael now to give you an understanding of why a similar structure is very important if you're investing in across a number of states. So Yeah, no worries. Out. Thanks, Ken. Um, as we said last time on, on the last blog, for those of you that missed it, um, having the right finance structure is really about control and, and smart investors keeping the control as opposed to banks having the control. Um, last time we talked about keeping your own home separate by using the structure that I'll, uh, I'll talk about. Today what I'm going to be uh, talking about is increasing the flexibility and the control that you have over your portfolio. Um, most smart investors will build a portfolio or diversify into different markets over time. So if we look at my personal portfolio as an example, I've got property in three capital cities around Australia, Melbourne, Brisbane and Perth. Now, we know that those markets don't all cycle together. Some will be moving when others plateau, uh, so on and so forth. But if we look at the last, say, three years, uh, Melbourne's been pretty good. Uh, Brisbane's been pretty flat, but we're starting to see some real movement there and, uh, and similar stuff over in Perth. Now, for the purpose of this example, let's assume that I've got one property in each of those capital cities, and let's assume that um, all three are financed by ANZ, as we said last time. Anytime I want to pull equity out of that portfolio, the bank is going to value all three properties because they hold the mortgages for those properties. Okay, so really what happens in that scenario is that the performance of these two properties at this point in time is impacting my ability to get my hands on that equity. A far better situation is if each of these properties are financed by a different lender. As soon as we see some equity growth in one of those properties, I only have to go back to the bank that holds the mortgage against the property that's increased in value. And just like last time, we apply exactly the same process. We, get, we go back to that bank and get an equity release or an equity loan against the growth and we use that to cover the deposit and costs for the next property. And you're growing your portfolio. So sure, you might think, well, that makes sense. I take equity out and I build my portfolio. But think of it in real terms. Most people I talk to have a goal somewhere between 10 and 20 years. So that can be between one and, and three property cycles. So even though we talk about property growing at a long-term average of conservatively about 8%, uh, most of us know that property doesn't go up in a linear fashion like so. Typically what happens is there'll be upswings and there'll be plateaus and there'll be booms again and plateaus and so on and so forth over time. So the importance of control and flexibility to allow you to duplicate when you want and when you can simply means that you can buy property in the best possible market at any point in time and take full advantage of the upswing that's going to happen. Conversely, if you've got all of these properties with the same bank and the banks put the handbrake on you, it might be 12 months until one of these has moved enough to allow you to get equity. That means that you've been out of the market and you might be entering into a market once there's been some growth. Now, given that a boom typically only lasts for about three years, historically, 12 months is a long time to be sitting out and that's a lot of extra net wealth that you are missing out on by not being in control. Apply that over two or three growth cycles and you can see there's potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars difference in what you could make by having your finance structured in a smart way versus the way that the banks want to do it. So again, um, banks love control, they want to keep it together. We just keep it separate, A for security and B for flexibility to grow your portfolio as quickly as you can and as quickly as you want. Thanks for watching.